Here is our lab simulation, also called lab connection. So it's going to guide me through how to do this particular lab exercise based on basic cryptography. So it's telling me to hide my message. Okay, great. So I have a little cheat sheet over here for myself just to move this along. So let me copy this URL. So it's telling me to put in this URL in the browser and then select a random image by leaving the image field blank. Okay. Enter the text. Security class is fun over here. My password is password with zero for the O, and I'm going to hide my message. Okay, now just for example, to show you what I mean by bowling with bumpers. So over here it wants me to download the encrypted image. So I can click on download your image, but say I wanted to go over here and click on moderate or font or front or browse, it tells me an incorrect attempt notice. So it lets me know that I'm veering off course. I, I can't actually click on that. It's not a live link. So it's very focused for the student just to learn what they have to learn. So I'll click download the image. They want me to save it as a PNG. Okay. They want me to call it steganography. And oh, I see we have a question here. Hang on one second. That PNG. Um, let me open the folder to verify. Okay, great. Take a good look at it and then close it. So you can see here for the lab simulation, if I try to open up the screen, it, it does remain this small. It's a very uh, specific screen size for the lab sims. However, I can show you in the next lab that I show, the live VM labs, that you definitely can customize the screen size. So, but you know what? You can always um, do like a zoom in. If you have to, so if the student has trouble um, making out what this image is or what the words are because it is small font, I totally hear you on that. All right, enter the decryption address. Okay, and my password. Oh, I got to open that up. Okay, and reveal my message. And here it is. Great. Okay. So now I've completed this one specific lab. Most of the other labs are more involved than that. I purposely chose the small one so I could demo it quickly for you. Um, all right. So if you go next, you can go through the exercises. So usually at the end of these lab simulations, we have maybe like five or so questions just to provide an additional way for students to be graded. So over here, you can see that I did great on my lab. I followed all the steps. Definitely need to brush up on my material for the exercises, but I have a combined grade of a 60%. Um, and it lets me break it down according to the exercises, so you can see all of those that I got wrong, and also where I need to go back in order to brush up on that content. The lab details, so it shows where I made any errors clicking off the path um, for the lab. And then here's the summary. And I can also print this to PDF and send it to my instructor if they would like. And there's also this little show me feature when you're in the lab that if you're really stuck, you can always click on that. And it's a little video walkthrough that shows the student how to get through it. Again, the lab sim's meant to be very basic. It's meant for students to have their hand held. That's the whole point. 